I've got such incredible memories of Sunderland. Man, what a great time that was. And we're here with MGH United now, my club taking on Sunderland. Yeah, this is going to be awesome. I can't wait to play Portsmouth as well. That should be coming up at some point. In fact, are they in this league or are they actually in the Premier League? I haven't seen Portsmouth come up yet. Hang on. Where are Portsmouth? Wait, there's no way they went from League 1 to League 2 when I got promoted, right? Let's have a look. I've got to check this. They must be in League 2. Portsmouth, Portsmouth, Portsmouth. Where are you? Oh, hang on. <laughs> they could have been promoted back up into League 1. They could be hidden. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's really not that complicated, Matt. They clearly got relegated, promoted, and then they've stayed in League 1. So, um... We're not going to play them anytime soon, unless we find somehow at some point we get, we get them in the cup, but I think it might be too late. But anyway, guys, it doesn't matter. We're playing against Sunderland now. They are pretty much bottom of the league, and we've been struggling a little bit with some bad form. So we're going to do the press conference, and then we're going to get three points. How will you approach the game? We'll focus on the performance. I mean, my team morale isn't too bad, so it's not like I need to do this, but it's always good every now and again. Why has the team been struggling? Um, I have to take some of the blame. Me as the player or me as the manager? <laughs> Both. Happy with your squad? Um, to be honest, no. I, I mean, I'm happy with my first team and, and the, the players that I kind of bring in, the, the three or four usual subs. But yeah, the reserves I'm not quite happy with. But obviously that's going to take a bit of time. Um, I'm just gonna go with we've got with we've got what we need for now at least. I think that's the right answer, which is true. Right now we've got what we need, but certainly for another season in the Championship, if we really want to get promoted to the Premier League, we've got quite a lot of work to do. But uh, let's get into the game against Sunderland. We can play in our blue kit. Uh, Staunton missing a little bit of energy there, but that's not gonna be a problem. It's not much. I'm actually gonna drop Patino. I know. Can you believe it? Hasn't been too great recently. We're going to go with Nixon and Steele. And that, that means, of course, Vice Captain Wheatley will step in for this one. And this is the first time that our right back, Huggins, one of our first proper signings, is going against his old team. And here we are at the Stadium of Light. It's an incredible stadium. It really is. I genuinely feel like the Sunderland Road to Glory was one of my best for sure. Portsmouth twice has been great. Shrewsbury back in the day as well. We've had some really good ones. And I tell you what, although we're still kind of early days, this MGH United career mode as well, for me, has potential to be the best. I am absolutely loving it. It just feels so fresh. It's the first time I've done something like this, you know. And having done YouTube for 12 years, 10 years of career mode, that's going to be a card. Yellow card. Having done career mode for 10 years now, which is a long time, it's weird to be able to say I'm doing something new. Let's just have a shot here. Why not? Nixon. Oh, why does it always freeze after I roll the ball out like that? That's not the first time that's happened. Here is Steele. Over to Nkudu. Play it inside to Steele again. Oh, he's in. Can you finish it? Yes! Finally! Steele gets his first goal. It's been coming. I told you it would happen naturally. I didn't try for this to happen. He's come in for Patino and he's got an early goal. Let's have a look at the replay here. It's a great ball over the top, but the defender's got to clear that. He's right there. See, now the interesting thing is Steele is playing in Patino's position, which the instructions are a little bit looser. He can get forward and do a bit of uh, an attacking, have a bit of an attacking threat to his game. That has clearly made all the difference because it's Nixon that is sitting on that right side, kind of, I don't know, sitting a little bit deeper. So maybe that was the key. Clearly it was the key to get Steele his first goal. Here is Huggins. I would love a goal or an assist for him today against his old club. Here he is. What do you reckon? Into Theo now or Staunton. It's not going to be an assist yet. Come on, Nixon. That's fine. Burton's there. Let's get this forward one more time. Nice. Into Staunton. Back to Theo. No. Maybe could have been a foul on Staunton. Oh, no. Wow, he didn't take a touch and just run. 
Now we've got it back. That's poor from Sunderland. Here goes Steele again. Over to Unkudu. Get it into the box. Oh, what a ball. Staunton. No. That is great defending there. Go on, Huggins. Go on. No. I was just about to shoot. I reckon he would have scored. Or at least hit the target. The corner's going to come in now. Burton is there. Can't win it. It's fallen for Theo. I think I have to try and get this into the box, don't I? Hang on. Hang on. Burton. Nice. Here's Nixon. Now inside. No. <laughs> Too much. I should have hit it with Nixon. Don't worry, guys. I know. I know. I made a massive mistake there. That was my bad. But we're still 1-0 up. And that is going to be half time here at the Stadium of Light. This could be a good opportunity for Sunderland. Oh, no. Oh, what a save. Brilliant from Bramley Turner in goal to keep Gooch out. What a name. <laughs> what a name Gooch is. And they're making a change. And it's Patrick Roberts coming on for Gooch. Decent player, Roberts. Man City, Norwich. But who else did he play for? Celtic, was it? Oh, God. Oh, how's he missed? I think actually the keeper's made another save there. Another corner to come in. It's been a little bit messy so far. That's mine. Hold on, Sutton. Look how calm and composed he is. And now we get forward for on, on, on Kudu. Un Kudu. Come on, son. Let's go. Theo's getting into the box. Try now. Go on, Theo. Oh, my God. That was a great ball. Very unlucky. Here's Robinson. A little bit of a, a shimmy. Over to Theo. And there it is. Theo gets the second goal of this game. Is that going to be enough to win? I think so. I've just brought on Hartman and here he is. Can he score? No, nope, saved. It's a good save, actually. That was definitely going in. Want it back here with Huggins. Driving forward. Theo's on the right now. What do I do from here? I think we give it back to Huggins. Into Nixon. We're starting to tear Sunderland apart here. Hartman. Oh, really? Off the bar. Almost bouncing. Oh! <laughs> I thought he'd actually conceded because he rolled it in. But no, it's going to be a foul. We've also got Joyce and Lacey on now. So we'll see if they have an impact. Over here to Theo. Into the box. Oh, Hartman was right there. He was on the end of that. I'm surprised he hasn't scored yet. That is now two very close chances. We almost got in that, that cross. Here is Hartman again. On the left side for Joyce. That's a good pass. Into the box. Oh, he had to head it and it was just not, not a viable option for Joyce. Come on, one last chance. We've got Joyce. Another go down the left wing here. This time he won't have to cross it with his head. He can cross it with a foot. And it's not bad. It's almost ended with a third goal. But I think that is going to be it now. Much, much better than the last episode. We kick off today's episode with a win. Ah, nice. Reeve is now ready to convert to a left back, and he goes up to 51 rated. That is a success. We are going to go, go ahead and do defensive, I think, because look, his defending is 37. It's not ideal for a left back. And then we'll, we'll have to do something else to get his attacking work rate up because we can't have a low attacking and a high defensive wing back. That won't work. Up next, we have Millwall. And you know what? I've quite enjoyed Theo on the wing. So I might actually give him a go out there on the, that right side. Robinson is going to be sacrificed and Hartman is going to come in. I, I would like to give him some more game time. Uh, we'll go with Patino again in this one. And let's go with Steele instead of Nixon. And I'm going to go McKay instead of Huggins. Just, you know, changing up the team a little bit. I think Millwall were 19th. So they're not the strongest team right now. Anyone else I want to give a go? <laughs> Not really, if I'm being honest. This is the team we're going to use. See, now that we've got a win for the first time in a couple of games, I just want another one and another one. I want to get back into some winning form and actually go on a run here because we have fallen apart at times. We've fallen adrift of the top six. And of course, I'm not looking to be with the top six and be competitive with them week in, week out. I know that's not going to be the case yet. Oh, that's a poor pass. But I still don't want to see them 10, 15, 20 points ahead of us. I want to be close. I want to be near there 
So by the end of this season, we know going into next season, we will have a huge opportunity to close the gap. Over to Hartman. Whoa. Showing a little bit too much there. Back into Hartman. What a ball. No. How has he got his foot on that? Unbelievable. That was 1-0 right there. And the, the goalkeeper's giving it straight to Theo. Typically, he is a right winger. So it's weird having him there. I've used him as a striker since we signed him. Here is Staunton. Over to McKay. I have to drive forward here. Oh, it's a heavy touch. And I've just gone too far. I quite like Theo on the right. And this is the thing, guys. Multiple signings that I've made in this career mode have been such versatile players. I can play pretty much all of my front players in all of the front positions. They can all do a job for me everywhere. And that is such an underrated thing to have. Oh, Theo. <laughs> and then he does something like that. Let's go down the left this time. I'm just going to knock it past him. What's he meant to do? You cannot keep up with Unkudu there. And the ball comes in. And Theo scores with his right foot. Oh, man. It's kind of good but annoying at the same time because I know how good he can be up front. But he can also do it on the right wing. And then where do I put Robinson? Because it means Hartman comes in. And I, it's a good problem to have. I'm, I'm not going to complain about it. Look at Staunton ducking out of the way there. The keeper maybe should have saved it. But I am happy with the 1-0 lead. Are we actually going to win two in a row? My God, it could be happening. We've been gifted some easier games, though. Let's be fair. We've played a lot of the lower teams in recent weeks. Oh, Hartman. That was a really nice touch. Into the box. Patino's coming in. Oh! The defender. <laughs> and then he fell over into his own goal. It would be so typical after such a good start to this game to give away a goal from a corner. Thankfully, that's not going to happen, although it almost did. I'm going to roll this out to the left. Okay, Sutton. Let's give that to Nkudu. Look at Hartman. Hello. Come on, Hartman. Show me what you've got. Oh, he's not going to get there. Keeper, what are you doing? <laughs> I do love it when the keepers do that. It's hilarious if it goes wrong. Here's Staunton now. Go on. Oh, my God, the dribbling. So good. Hit it. Oh, if only that went in. Well, I guess that's pretty much it for the first half. There's only a couple of minutes left. We should be two or three nil up, if I'm honest. We've done enough to score a couple of goals here, but that's okay. You're not going to score a load of goals every single game. And as long as we're making chances, those goals will come eventually. We might still get one here, actually. Steal. Over to Theo. Into the box now for Patino. So close. Can I get a shot away from here? Steal. Wait, are we going to get the corner or is the referee going to blow his whistle? We are getting the corner, despite having played so much more than we needed to. Corner coming in. That's a good ball in Burton with not a very good header. Good first half, though. Pass that one through. Oh, he's on. Theo is onside. Can he finish it? Nkudu can. It is 2-0. God, I've been waiting for that. I think that should be enough now. But I've said this before, and then they get one back and things go a little bit crazy. 2-0 is never enough at this point. So I'm not going to get ahead of myself. It's a great goal, though. The, the pass through for Theo. I wish he could have finished it. But at least Unkudu was there. Unkudu, Unkudu. Yeah. Yeah, that's a penalty for sure. You don't see Wheatley getting beaten like that too often. And I've just launched a tackle after the ball's gone past. I've just barged him over. He's just such a tank. And here it is, 2-1. Oh! <laughs> Bramley Turner, hello! What a save. I mean, I went bottom right. I think the shot was just slightly to the right, but it was more in the middle, wasn't it? Yet I still saved it. And now we could score. A third. Staunton's having a joke with that guy. Oh, my God. He's still going. Oh, and then it's blocked. Falls for Hartman. Back into Staunton. Still going here. Patino. Get it into the box. Oh, it's unlucky. I still don't know how he saved that penalty. That was a really weird one. Patino with the ball. Who's that going to fall for? Win the header. Oh, really? Well, he's not going to make it past Wheatley. 
No chance. Oh, God, no. I've missed the tackle. And I've missed that one as well. Sutton, it's down to you. Oh, what a tackle. Oh, no. That could be a red. It is FIFA after all. It probably is, yeah. The game thinks that that is last man. It doesn't take into consideration other players that maybe could get back there. So Sutton is red carded and that means we're without him for the next game and we don't have a very good left left back to come in jump the wall easy save i guess i play nixon at left back or huggins maybe or do i call up adam reeve do i just get him in the team <laughs> 51 rated left back could he be better than king maybe good turn from hartman over to Patino. It's 3-0. Even with 10 men, I'm still getting chances. And that wraps up today's game at home against Millwall. Hartman's going to get the assist. That was a great turn. And then the first time strike. Oh, what a finish. So that should be it now. No chance they're going to get a goal. There's not enough time. And the referee's going to blow his whistle right here. Three points twice in a row can you believe it well talking of adam reeve we've now got a monthly update and i mean it's not it's not ideal some of their potentials have come down quite a bit sprat with an 65 to 83 potential but you've got to remember dynamic potential will kick in so it's it's not it's not a massive deal um and you know what guys i'm actually going to do it I said, should I call up Adam Reeve and just use him in place of Sutton? Why not? I'm going to promote him to the senior team right now because we need a left back. I don't want to play King. I just don't. And we've got some scout reports here now. Let's see if we've got any gems. Uh, 60 to 84, 66 to 88 goalkeeper. Don't really need him. To be fair, I could probably recall my scouts because I'm not going to need any of these guys. I think I've got enough, you know. Let's reject those guys. Have we got anyone good from England? 65 to 89, 51 to 69. Oh, God, they're all relatively poor. I mean, maybe this guy would be okay. But no, honestly, I'm, I'm quite happy with what I've got. I have found enough players for this season. I might actually... No, no, we'll leave it for now. We'll leave it for now. I've spent the money. I might as well wait and see if anything comes up. But uh, as I said, Sutton's out. So we do have Adam Reeve coming in. His stats aren't great. Let's compare him with King. Oh my God, he's better than King at shooting, passing and dribbling already. Uh, defensively, of course, he's not. And he's not as quick. But he is six foot one. So he's going to be a bit more physical. We've just had an offer come in for Glover as well. I don't know how I feel about this. There was, there was moments of quality from Glover. But is he going to be the player that takes us to the next level in the future. No, he's not. And for that kind of money, 420,000, we can invest in the stadium more. And also it's just money that can go into a new player at some point. So do you know what? I'm actually going to let him go. But it does mean in January, we will need to bring in some of those youth academy players to fill in these gaps. Ah, oh, look at this. Adam Reeve has been dreaming of this. I was impressed, son. Well, actually, no, we just panicked. We need a left back. You're coming in and you're up against Birmingham. Again, though, one of the bottom teams. So it's not a bad idea. What I could do is play three at the back and have wing backs. Maybe I'll go with that for this one. Uh, and Glover has been sold. I'm kind of sad about that. That's the end of an era, but um, it's the right thing to do. So we're in eighth right now after two wins. It's crazy what a couple of wins can do, right? I'm changing up the team quite a lot here. I hope I don't regret it, but uh, Paul is coming in. We've got Reeve on the left. Lacey as well is coming in on that left side of Patino with Nixon on the right. Yeah, it's, it's risky, Jackson and Theo up top, but you know what? You have to be able to rotate your team. You have to be able to, so I'm just going to go for it. What, what's the worst that can happen, you know? What I will do is I'm going to drop Hartman. I don't think we're going to need another striker. And I will bring on defensive cover. So Cargill is there if we need him. And there he is. The new boy. Number 27, Adam Reeve. Left wing back. 
Maybe I'll end up deciding he's better in midfield. I don't know. Of course, he was a DM. It might work out better. But I do need a backup left back. I wanted someone taller. Something a little bit different, you know. We'll give it a go. Five at the back against Birmingham City. Wow. It is weird having such a wide formation like this. They just go right to the touchline. Hopefully it works. Here's Nixon, tackled. This is where the problem is, though. My midfielders have been caught forward. And they have to rush back into position. Okay, Reeve, your first time having to defend here. Although, I don't think he fancied it. He saw that you were 6-1 and didn't want it at all. Wow. <sighs> if that goes flying in, I'm really disappointed with that. Go on, Jackson. Go on. Oh, he's left it behind. What is going on? Why is Jackson leaving the ball behind there? He did the hard work. He did the skill. Oh, that's going to be 1-0. Nope. Never in doubt. What a run from Lacey. Little 1-2 to get him in behind. Go on. Finish it. Oh, that was really well played, though. Driving forward. Little 1-2 with Jackson there. Would have been a great time to score as well because we have been... A bit of a mess so far. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm not really enjoying the formation much. I feel like I'd rather go three at the back and have really attacking wing backs, similar to what I did in the Roma career mode. Go on. Oh, not a bad attempt. Thought I'd give it a go. Corner coming in right on the stroke of half time here. That was Paul coming in. Here's Jackson. What do you reckon, guys? Bang! No way. No way. Oh, I wish. I wish that went in. Well, now I've got the opportunity to do what I said I wanted to do. I'm just going to get them forward. Oh, Reeve is better as a left midfielder. Interesting. And Huggins is actually worse. That is weird, isn't it? It's just the lack of defending. If Reeve was a left midfielder, he'd be almost 60 rated. <laughs> It's okay, though. We're going to improve the defensive stats. Long term, it will it'll be better for him. Um, but let's give that a go. It just means I've got a little bit more going forward. I just feel like there's so much space behind my strikers, out on the wings specifically, and I'm not having to defend as much as I thought I would. So let's give this a go. We've got Theo on the ball now. I'm going to use that run from Jackson to go on the right. Little one-two now. Actually, no. I'm going to go back out on the left side for Reeve. Cross coming in. Oh, my God. Whoa. How is he better than King already? It doesn't make any sense. Oh, it was actually a header just off target. I thought maybe the defender got that. But how is Reeve better than King already? It, it doesn't make any sense, does it? That was such an incredible cross. But we are still nil-nil, and they have a chance here. Don't concede now. God, that would have been very frustrating. Here's Lacey. Playing it forward. Here's Theo. Jackson. Back over the top for Theo, maybe. Go on. Oh, he almost got that, you know. <laughs> I mean, I had to give it a go, didn't I? Just because why not? Genuinely surprising me how good he is. For a 51 rated left back. It's not bad. I should probably make some changes soon. We're running out of time. But we might as well get another attack going here. Into Jackson. Oh, a little bit unlucky there with the pass. Still going. Lacey. Can he score from there? Blocked. On the right side for Huggins. Into the box. Still going. Go on. Oh, he's hit the post. Wow, that was close. And there's a yellow card for Leko for a previous challenge. Okay, now we make those changes. Uh, do we go for it? I think we do actually. I'm going to go Joyce on that left side. I'm going to go Robinson on the right. Let me just convert him to right wing. And oh, this is a tough one. Do you know what? I'm going to put Garbit up front. He gets a goal. He does. He, he's, a, he's a goal scorer. He can play as a striker, no problem. Oh, what a ball that is. Careful now. Oh, no. No. No! I can't believe this. I think we've just lost it. No, no, no. I can't look at that again. No. 
No, 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 no. We get forward. We score an equaliser right now. I do not deserve to lose this game. Come on, Joyce. Get me out of this pickle. Going for it. Keeper's come way off his line there. Pass it into the box. Oh, oh guys, I'm going to lose again. I've managed to get back into some good form. Oh, my God. Three at the back just isn't working today. That's another goal. Oh, good save. But that is it. Yeah, this, this does not go down as a good episode now after two good wins to lose this one. Oh, yeah, that's, that's not good. And just like that, back down to ninth. Honestly, this season has been this, literally. Do, 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 do. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Um, Giroud Lasala has now changed to left wing. And now that he's done that, we go to Cam. That was always going to be the final choice. The final destination, 62 rated. It's not bad, is it? Hopefully by the time that he finishes his Cam training, he'll be 65, maybe a little bit long, a little bit more than that. Um, availability after suspension, so Sutton is back. Honestly, I was pretty happy with Reeve. Very, very happy with that. So... Um, <laughs> and now Huddersfield 22nd we have another chance to play against one of the lower league teams but or not lower league but lowish teams in this league uh, the problem with all of these games coming now is that we're going to have probably a crazy run aren't we where we're playing against the top six consistently so the fact that we're dropping points now does not bode well it means we're going to struggle later on even more but uh, I think tomorrow's episode we're going to do a highlights one until the Fulham game. So we'll have highlights for one, two, three, four, five games, and then we'll play against Fulham live. That's going to be a good one. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you become a member if you want to. You can support the channel. It's $4.99. It's a, a tea or a coffee with a sandwich per month, and it supports me directly. And you could end up having your name put in the game. Of course, you can join the Discord and get the private channels as well. But the Discord is open for free to anyone. You just get the cool private channels if you are a member. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.